the amino acid L-carnitine in kidney disease. Robert Galeris from Healthy Kidney Inc. Kidney survivor, okay, from one kidney survivor to another, I wanna help you avoid the things I have to go through. And so let's talk about L-carnitine, okay? So L-carnitine is an amino acid that we get from food. And what it does is it helps process fatty acids uh, through the mitochondria. So it's a little energy factory in your cells to help produce energy for your body. Now the kidneys do a, a lot to help produce L-carnitine. And when there's kidney issues, kidney failure, kidney disease, there's a chance that you can have low L-carnitine levels. So this research is from Nutrients Journal, uh, September 2020, and they looked at L-carnitine levels in people who, were, who had kidney disease not on dialysis. And this isn't new. We, a lot of studies looked at the L-carnitine levels. And what it's shown that a lot of people that had kidney disease not on dialysis had low L-carnitine levels, and those low levels led to arterial stiffness, okay? Your arteries being stiff, which isn't good because that leads to artery disease, heart disease. And so what I recommend, I don't generally recommend going out and getting L-carnitine like some other supplements if you want to help your kidney health. You could. You can always take L-carnitine, okay? If you're a pill popper, you don't mind taking pills or liquids, you can go get L-carnitine in a pill or liquid form. If you can, I always ask, uh, see if you can ask your doctor to get tested for it. I remember years and years ago, I got tested for my L-carnitine levels and it was borderline low. And uh, because of that, I supplemented and I did notice some improvements. And L-carnitine, aside from helping prevent the cardiovascular disease that's found in kidney disease, it's a possibility that it can help your iron levels, it can help your energy levels, and those are the two big things. It's a possibility. It works for some people, not for everybody. But the point is, if you have kidney disease, I think you should ask your doctor, your primary, your nephrologist, whoever it is, to get tested for L-carnitine. Every lab does it. They might not know what it is, your doctors, but just, uh, you're gonna have to push the topic. You're gonna have to, it's your health, so you're gonna have to be a little aggressive in your health and what you can do. And if you are that borderline low or low, then you definitely want to supplement. I usually tell people to start with 1,500 milligrams a day of L-carnitine. It's 1,500 milligrams. Uh, they have it in liquid. They have it in pills. Usually pills are like 500 milligrams, so three a day. Um, that's definitely something that you can do. You can go as high as 3,000 milligrams okay, with supplementing with L-carnitine if it's indicated, okay? If it's not indicated, you just wanna go get some milk carnitine to try to help your kidney health, uh, help your health in general, start with 1,000, 1,500 milligrams. If you do get tested, you're low, you can go higher or stay on those doses, which should really help correct it. But L-carnitine, something that the kidney makes, it's often low in kidney disease, which can lead to other issues, okay? This study showed that it's aortic stiffness, okay? That's a bad thing, because that leads to heart disease. So. Think about it, watch the video, maybe you wanna get tested, something you could do for your health. But thanks for watching everybody. This is Robert Galarowitz from one kidney disease sufferer to another to your best kidney health. Like, subscribe, check out our YouTube channel and our other videos. Have a good day everybody, bye.